Welcome back to a Let's Play Banish, part two in our little series. So we're in the l winter of year one now, and I'm keeping us on the slow speed, not because I'm bad with it, but because I find it easier to manage. This game is really high on the micromanagement, and it's not a bad thing, it's, it's definitely not a bad thing. Like, this person here. Uh, his name is Lenswin. His gender is male. He's really happy. His health is about four and a half hearts. He's 20 years old. All this information. But I can also see that he's carrying about 15 fish. And if I wanted to, I can find out he lives somewhere in one of these houses. Uh, here he is. So, he's probably the husband of this person, and this is their child. And there's her child just playing away. And their household has about this much weed and that much fish and that much wood. Reserve on logs is low. <gasps> oh no, whatever will I do? I know. Let's go and cut down some more trees. Those are reserved for cutting down trees, right? I'm certain of it. Nope, they weren't. Cut down the trees. Well, no one's going to cut down the trees because I have no laborer. Yeah, see? Clearing out areas and moving for products of goods to storage. Uh, building roads. Nope, that's not them. None of these guys are going to do it. The only one that would do it is the woodcutter when his uh, stock is full. Now you're like, oh look, there are deers. There are deers. Why don't you go and like, like kill them for food? I could. I find that it's really slow though on the un intake. Like, for example, um, I was in a mountainous area where it was just this little cup, like, pocket in, and my village started there. There was, like, a lot of deer. I put down a hunting cabin, and it, like, didn't work. Like, I, I, I don't want to say it didn't work. It did work in the sense that I did get Vin uh, Vincent and, uh, no, sorry, not Vincent, um, Venice, Venice, deer meat. <laughs> and um, leather but it was very slow like it shouldn't have been that slow so I don't use the cabins unless of course I'm after the leather in which case I don't rely on it oh 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 we're going to be in the spring time Spring, spring, eighty, spring, spring, eighty, spring, spring, eighty, spring, spring, eighty, da da da. So here's another thing too to know is that when uh, farmers can't tend the crops, they end up being laborers for that period. But I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that because I wanted my farmers to be fishers or gatherers or builders or help out with the community in one way or another. We're almost spring spring -y. I'll leave that farmer. In that, case, in that case, if I miss the early spring, he'll he'll go and get it. And the students are going to stay in there until like 17, 18. Yeah. Nothing. Yes, I know my wood is slow. Low reserve. It's because you're trying to go out to like 20, 200 of it. Anyways. So... Yeah, the age of these people and the age of this, like the years, is not in relation. Like one year here is not one year for them. For example, our zero-year-olds, they're now like... Oh, they're like five years old now and it's only been one... One year. So there's that. I had friends telling me like, but if it was exactly the same, then there would be a problem, things would be slow, and blah blah blah. Honestly, I don't think it would be bad at all. If we're playing this for like realism, then that'd be fine. I mean like, have the kids go in here for when they're t um, five and learn for the five years, and then release them when they're like twelve or, or ten or something, and then they'll be educated workers. There's nothing wrong with that. 
And of course now it's going to be mad at us because someone took the last of the fish. But they're not hungry because if they were I would see the little fork and knives over their houses. And then fork and knife over when the person who is hungry. Early spring. Spring, spring, eddy, spring, sprung, eddy, spring, sprang, ye, sprung, sit uh, Yeah. I should actually be seeing um, onions and stuff in their inventories here. I'm checking their houses first because that's generally where they would be putting it. Yeah, see berries are here and onions, so this one is getting all the food for it. If I make a marketplace, someone will be taking it from the storehouse and putting it in here and I'll be able to see the resources easier. If I make a town hall, I can see all the resources easily. Okay, would menu be a laborer for now? That's an interesting question. What are you working on? If everything's on pause, you should be working on anything. So here they go, they're making their wheat. going to make them a dirt road because they're nice and awesome that way. I'm curious. Yeah, they'll go up and around like that. So right in front of the... Um, There we go. And if I check this one, it's not going to go in, like there and there. It'll just go like a eh, straight line. Oh, it doesn't even know. Yeah. See, they're going to have to go up and like this because there is something in the way. I think that's a mountain. Something's in the way. I don't know what it is. Frankly, I don't care what's in the way. I'm at 24 iron. I must use the iron on this. Okay, I'm gonna have them also build on this when they want to. I'm so used to playing this in like 10 speed. And the lucky winners of getting this beautiful brand new house is the Mr. and Mrs. Nobody's! The nobodies. Yeah, we only have one builder, and he's more doesn't want to go out there. Do, 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 do. 
I will, like, don't get me wrong, I will be making another field. There is one thing that has been confusing me a bit. It was the, um, whenever I see, like, the pictures of, like, the loading screen and whatnot, or someone's advanced city, they have, like, fences around here, but I have no idea. Not a clue. Yeah, it's about that temperature where we are. Oh, that's Celsius right now. I turned it to Celsius because I don't do Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit and me, no mixy. We're at 22 tools right now. There's no point in me making a tailor unless, of course, I get sheep or hunting for the leather. Some people are probably yelling at the screen, like, or not yelling, but like saying, Why didn't I do stone roads? Stone roads are more efficient. Because stone? Yeah. Why didn't I use stone houses? Stone? Needed. Stone is very much a needed resource. Oh, there's some stone that I missed. Right now, though, I am more interested in getting me wood. I could give them a priority, but I think they're doing quite well on their own. So I gotta keep the teacher in there if I want to keep the students educated. I normally leave the fishermen going for the all year round because that keeps our food supply going higher and higher. See, and there's the roots now from the gatherer. Uh, yeah, that's why there's the two ones being used there. You know what? I'll leave this until early autumn because they did so well when I turned everybody into farmers and harvest. Dum dum Need trees. Well, fine. If you just want to fall down for me, by all means, go ahead. But I want you. I'm so worried that what's going to end up happening is one of my gatherer is going to get killed by a tree. If a gatherer gets hit by a tree, does anyone care? Yes. Yes, they do. Because I don't got cemeteries yet. So they really care. They care a lot. We're in the summer. We're in the summer. Your harvest is going so well. La, 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 la. So we got more yield than last year. But then again, when the frost comes in, it could drop down so fast. That's why I forced the harvest, because I wanted to live through the winter. Dum, dum, da, dum, 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 da, da, dum, dum. Oh, there's a rock. I think I has a question for you. How do you get home? Oops, wrong button. You just go in like this little zigzaggy line all the way across. Hmm. Well, I'll concede to that, at least. Because there's this one too, right? So it's gonna also take the uh, speed up pass. Mm, 
you're the gatherer, aren't you? Yeah. So you're not even taking the path it told me. Where in the late summer the yield is getting better, but I get the worry of early autumn. Frost. The frost. I scared of the frost that's going to kill my supply. I gotta watch this, I guess. That'll tell me. Like, if I got more farmers, then I'd be done faster, but it's not a big deal. Last year, we got a thousand and eighty-nine food. Wonder what we're gonna get this year. Oh, you're just doing that. Dum do 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 do. Or the anticipation. Okay. I think the problem that happened here was that the river was supposed to do this, but then another river came in and went like, nope. Because then it like goes like, the river's going like this. Like. Yeah, okay, this is wrong. Environmentally speaking, this is wrong. This would never happen in nature. Ugh. Another thing is wrong is this. Like, here's the lake, right? Or sorry, here's the river. And we can see the river's going down. Okay, I'll buy that, I'll buy that. It's going down. I can see it doing that, joining in with this river and whatnot, and okay. So I can, if this was higher elevation, I can see it doing that and then joining in, but it's literally going around. Water's going uphill. Oh, they're harvesting already. Good for them. Are you actually working? No, you're not working. Then go help them. Do 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 do. When I see those sudden drops, I get scared. It's like, oh no! A frost! A frost! Because they, they do their harvesting almost methodically, except for some of them. Reserve for food is low. Well, if you just give it a couple of while, you'll see there's a lot of wheat coming. And that should be it when they go and gather it. If they went and gathered it. So now they're actually considered laborers until... As you can see, they're now gathering other stuff because that's all they can do. Two of them, on the other hand, are going to be fishers. And another one's going to be.
be a gatherer. Dun 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 din da da din din da da dun din da da din 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 din. So I should be able to see this harvest. <gasps> Our current season is very nice. Let's try peppers next year. The food reserve is low. Um, that's because people are taking the wheat for their homes because they're worried they're going to starve over this. Oh, well, this, this family is just completely dumb. They got no wood, they got no food. Well, now they got their wood. It must be just starting out. Dun 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 Yeah. Don't need the firewood this year. So, and this this looks like this environment does late autumn frost. At least this year it was late autumn. And we got roots, mushrooms, our wheat supply, and our fish. We're doing very well. Another oh, deer around here. There's some deer. Okay. I'm very curious about this. So that'll do the tunnel all the way across. Okay. Good to know. Dum 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 da da da. See, there's something interesting to see here. I have no one working the firewood, and yet someone made firewood. That looks like a boy. Oh, it's a 21 year old. Okay. It's the builder. I know, right? It's like the builder that isn't building. Because it doesn't realize that that just needs to be removed. Oh. They're doing their job. If I can get 80 stone, I will be able to make this. Hooray! Kalu clay! Yeah, there's still room in our stockpile. See, when the kids finally graduate from their school, then they become laborers al adults to begin with, and if somebody dies, laborers will take over any of these jobs or professions. Oh well. What can we do? What can we do or say when I know? There you go, he's gonna be gathering and bringing it back eventually. We got four fishermen to keep the food supply going. See, fish is our main um, economy. I know wheat says it is, but wheat's just there to be nice. And the main reason why I'm cutting down the wood is because, well, one, I need for building, two, this is our main going to be our main money until I can get stuff to sell that people like better. I believe it's ale. Wait, no. I just remembered cattle sellers don't like selling ale or buying ale off of you. 
Or was it the seed merchants? I never remember. Ooh, tired. So many students. So many children. You know, playing this game reminds me of a small town I grew up in. I grew up in a small town called Fort Fraser in BC, and we lived in the farmhouse, and the farmhouse did look like that, the storage bin, or barn. And I do remember having to cut wood for um, the winter and all that with my family. Well, yeah, I did cut some of the wood. I was really bad at it, so Dad said, no, you, you just bring the wood inside, and I'm like, okay. Because at that time I was like six, and I was like, I can help, I can do it. You know, I, I'm a big boy, I can help. Yeah. No. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, we used to live like near Fraser, um, Fraser River, where it was, uh, went ran through. Um, not ran through, but, um, it ran by our house and I could see the river and all that. It was kind of cool. Um, and eventually we moved from the outskirts of the town. So like if this was the main town of Port Fraser, we were living like way out over here. Like out in the middle of nowhere. It would take about a, a 50 minute drive to get in. Or something of those, something of that matter, uh, time. It felt like a half hour, but that's because you're like six years old and you're like, I really don't want to wait in the car as we're driving down the road. Uh, but the reason why this game kind of makes me think of that is because of how Fort Fraser started out. It was a settlement, and um, if this was Fort Fraser, literally just over here would be the native reserve. Uh, give or take a couple of... it took like ten minutes just to walk to the Native Reserve. Like, I don't know the full history of Fort Fraser myself, but um, that's where I grew up for... until I was 12. So my childhood was spent there, at least. There, something now you know about. So, yeah. If I remember correctly, though, it was a logging company. Or, not logging company, a logging industry. With, uh, Fraser Lake and, um... Yeah, Fraser Lake had it. A little bit of history. It's wrong that I kind of envy the simple life here. I know it was like dangerous and everything was like, it was like, are we going to survive the winter? Are we going to live another year or and all that? Do we have enough supplies? Is the community going to live and thrive or is it going to like just starve and die or all that? Like that big fear is one of the things that um, I know is very much r a real thing. But this feels more like a community, a family, than what we live in nowadays. Like, for example, they're not, like, they don't have an economy going on. They're just, do you need food? Well, so go get some food. Which is kind of cool when you think about it. Because that would just mean that there's there's not really any stealing going on. It's just... That's where the food is right now. But anyways. Well, it looks like we're back to our harvesting and all that. Alrighty. Well, looks like our show is almost about over for this run. Then if that's the case, I'll see you again in part three. So yeah. This has been Hero Pith playing Let's Play Van Vanish.